Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new around here. Today is my official first day as a part-time reseller. It is no longer a hobby anymore, it is now work. I am now part-time employed, part-time reselling, which is something that I've wanted for a very long time and the day has finally come. I thought why not do a day in the live video and just see how we get on. It's gonna take me a couple of weeks to sort of get used to things and figure out what works best for me. It is currently 10 to nine. A little bit later than I would like to start, but I've been doing like mundane housework tasks this morning, trying to get on top of all that. But I've got some sales from the weekend, Vinted and eBay. I've got uh, charity shops I'm going to pop to. I'm going to pop and see if I can get some boxes for my SKU system. And I've also got a package from Whatnot to open, so we'll go through that as well. So I'm just going to film some stuff, bring you along and see what happens. So I've had four sales on eBay and one on Vinted. So I'm going to go up into the loft now and grab what I need to grab. We'll get that packaged and then get it shipped out. As Ricky says, Ricky resells. If you haven't checked them out already, I'm pretty sure you already have. It doesn't always need to be charity shops and car boots. Just turn the camera on and record. That's what I'm planning to do. If you like it, brilliant. If you don't, you don't have to watch. It is what it is. But eBay sales. First up, we have Elf eyeliner brush. I don't think it's going to focus. That's gone for five pounds all in. I'll just send that second class because uh, postage is expensive. Next up, this is a Knight and Gibbons London mantle clock. Um, picked up with the car boot, five pounds paid, and it doesn't work. Put it on auction, it's gone for 10 pounds plus post. Next up, JVC battery charger, uh, paid a pound in the charity shop, it's gone for 12 pounds all in. Finally, on eBay, Elemis warm tonka and vanilla oil rich body cream, brand new. Foil sealed, all that good stuff. Uh, that's gone for 18. That would have come as part of a bundle. I bought, like I say, pretty sure I'm willing to profit on that now. So, happy days. I'm going to get this package now and we'll get them out and I'll run through the vintage sale in a second. So, uh, vintage sale. I very recently picked these up. Uh, there's loads of them. Um, kind of ink cartridges. Uh, me being me for. Mm, in cartridges, they're going to do well. No, big toner. I paid nine pound for the lot. He threw in some photo papers as well. Um, yeah, should have looked up comps. They're not really worth anything, and they don't sell. But I very, very quickly put them on vintage, and within an hour they'd sold for nineteen pounds. So quick ten pound profit. Happy days. I'll take it. My nine pound has been recouped. So get these packaged. That is all my packaging done for this morning. Then and then we'll head on out. Also, it's new week, new month, so the board has been reset. I had 150 each on these shell star lampshades as well. On there, some other people sell them, buy them, give them a go, see what's what. And then the cool picks, it's not in the greatest of conditions, but there's I very rarely see that color online, so it's worth a shot. Just had some lunch and radio, do you mind? So yeah, just had some lunch. Uh, just gonna quickly run to the local shopping center to try and find some boxes like I said for the SKU system I'm using cardboard boxes it's not really ideal at the moment uh, bought them specifically for that purpose and they're no good so let's go see what we can find uh, we'll come back and we'll recap the charity shop pickups open that parcel and then should be pretty much good but we'll see what else happens today This is the current situation of where we're at with the boxes. I've just bought those ones up, so I'm going to start transferring them over and we'll see what they look like. Back home from the charity shops now. Uh, let's just quickly run through what I picked up today, what I'm hoping to get back, and then I can crack on with some listing because it is now 10 to 2. I'm doing lots of just little bits and bobs and tasks, but I've got tomorrow and Wednesday where I can really just crack on with the listings. I picked up a weekly planner while I was out getting those boxes and I completely forgot to show you what the boxes are looking like now. Uh, can't actually fit as much stuff in them as I thought I would be able to and because of the range of stuff that I sell I can fit less in some boxes than others because some of the bulky items and stuff like that. So I think when I start to 
I'm not going to say niche down, but when I start to do more clothing, then I'll probably use those boxes predominantly for clothing. And yeah, we'll see how we uh, see how we get on. First pick up was the Fred Perry t-shirt. Really, really nice embroidery on the front. Um, it was showing, uh, it's in the men's section, but it's a UK 10. So I'm assuming that's women's. £3.45 paid. It was really clean, really nice green colour as well, which is pretty in at the moment. So should do okay at that one. I'll put up some comments on the screen. I don't know what to expect. 15, 20 maybe. Out of guess, we'll see. I'm put it on Depop as well, because I'm going to try and get Depop back up and running, because I never really use Depop, if I'm honest. Next shop then, picked up these vans. Really, really, really clean. Uh, bottoms are basically immaculate. I don't know why my phone keeps trying to um, focus on my face. I suppose because it's in cinematic mode, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, really clean. The suede's maybe a little bit worn, but four pounds. They're a size three, not the greatest of sizes, but should still make more than four pounds back on those. Really, really enjoying picking up plushies at the moment. So this is King Pig from Angry Birds. It was only 50p and I should be expecting to get about £15 back on that. So Angry Birds plush, definitely ones to look up. And not lastly, I picked up these shell star lamps, two of them. Uh, nothing spectacular, but I've seen a lot of people selling them. And yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. £1.50 each, hoping maybe 15 to 20 back with condition. They're a bit bent and they're a bit marked in places and stuff so we'll see on that one and lastly sort of pick of the day coolpix s 5200 in the plum color paid 20 pounds so paid off on it here you go coolpix the screen is pretty scratched up you can see it there um i haven't tested it yet i need to charge it up but it has got battery in there and the it has got an sd card what size is that it's got an 8 gig sand disk so nothing amazing in that, but let me just pull it up on Terra Peak because there's none currently listed, none sold in the last 90 days. So I'm assuming it's quite a rare colorway. So in the last three years, when you search for Nikon Coolpix S5200 Plum, which is the official color name, uh, one has sold in the last three years for £124 on auction, 31 bids. Uh, and that was the camera with charging cable and 32 gig SD card. So no box, nothing like that. So I am missing the charging, the charger for it, but 20 pounds, hopefully 80 to 100, maybe more. We'll see. Just finished up uh, listings for the day. Managed to get 15 done. Um, like I said, I didn't start until two o'clock. Had breaks in between for food and spending time with the kids and getting the kids in bed which is an absolute nightmare all on the store okay john i'll have a look <laughs> um and yeah i thought i'd just finish up with this big parcel as i said earlier from josh aka click right i'll link him down below and pop it up on the screen um if you don't know josh he's got a youtube channel and he's pretty big on instagram as well so always has the sickest t-shirts like ridiculous i actually bought some from him which went into my wardrobe but yeah thought i'd just open this up i can't even remember what i bought I bought some stuff to resell i can't even remember what i paid so let's have a little look see what there is oh, this one. i'm pretty sure i know what this one is well i got some free bubble wrap out of it anyway we'll reuse that inside we have a board game civilization Let's say, oh, I don't remember what I paid for this. Is it taped? Yeah, it's taped. So I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it out. I'll check it all up before I sell it, but yeah, it's a decently priced game, so should do pretty well on that. You can tell he's uh, made of money because he's just using a ton of mail mailing bags. Remember this. This is a Kenji, new tags, avocado. Uh probably right off the top of my head, I think it's about 10, 15 pounds on eBay. So I think I only paid about four quid. It's a good thing about whatnot is when you bought something, the postage doesn't increase that much afterwards. I know that changed over to raw mail, so it is a little bit different. It goes on weight. Uh, but before it was like, you buy something and it's like 10p extra for postage. So it's nothing really. Ooh, two in one. Atomicron. I don't remember buying this, but apparently I did. It must've been like a pound or something. 
God knows. Whatnot is one of those things where you can just get lost in it and just end up buying stuff for the sake of it. Bayonetta on the Wii U. Again, it's a decently priced game. I know I'm pretty sure I've paid up a little bit on that one, but supporting other resellers and I'll get my money back and make a little bit. I'll probably have a look at CEX trading on that as well, to be honest. Yeah, this is an Arsenal scarf. Again, just don't think it cost me a fat lot, so. Picked it up, chuck it on the store, chuck it on Vinted, something like that, get rid of it, make a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to go up to. It is Schleich figures. Schleich figures are, again, stupid money for what they are. Um, this went for stupidly cheap, so I grabbed it. And that should do okay. I don't know what the comps are. I haven't looked up comps. I'll throw some comps on screen for everything as and when I come across it. And that will do it for this video. So day in the life of a part-time reseller. My first day as a part-time reseller and part-time employed ever. I'm never going to get another one. But yeah, it's been a good day. I've uh, got quite a bit done. And yeah, I didn't. it was nice not having to rush things. You know, I could take things at my own pace. I knew I didn't have to go to work or anything like that, which was cool. Um, again, I've got tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday off as well. So tomorrow's just going to be listing. I'm not planning on going anywhere, so I probably won't record a video tomorrow. But I'll try and get out more videos now. I've got more time, more TikTok, more Instagram. If you're not following me, you can do Simply Reselling on TikTok and Instagram as well. Instagram, we're like just over 8,000 followers now, which is sick. Uh, and TikTok's about four and a half, I think, which again is amazing. Close to 1,000 on YouTube. So if you do want to see more content, if you have enjoyed it, follow subscribe that's the one on youtube we subscribe like drop a comment all that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next video